Hey guys, I'm just going to do a short review today of this Scott coffee machine. Bought the machine around six months ago and I love it. I wanted to just take you through it today just to show you what I love about it and um, hopefully convince you guys to buy it. It's certainly not a sponsored video, I just think this is a brilliant piece of kit. Primarily we bought this because we were spending far too much on the Spesso capsules. I wanted a bean to cup machine, something that would froth milk. Um, so I'll talk you through this today. Um, by no means a coffee expert. Um, but we would certainly like to show you what the machine's capable of. So this is the machine. Aesthetically we wanted something that was small. A lot of the bean to cook coffee machines are large and we wanted something that would fit on the work surface comfortably. Um, also price point was important to me, I didn't want to be spending four, five, six hundred pounds and this is around the two hundred pound mark so quite reasonable and um, specifically because we were looking to save some money on coffee because we were just spending a fortune on the special capsules, um, this fit the bill so we gave it a go not really knowing much about coffee machines when we did. So just to talk you through the machine, it's got a reservoir at the back, we just tend to lift the lid backwards and fill it up with a jug but you can pull this out. The bean reservoir is in the middle, uh, you just drop your beans in there and it's got a grinder adjustment so you can change the coarseness of your beans. Um, controls across the front, but I'll come to that in a minute. You've got your steam nozzle and your tap which does move up and down. Catchment tray at the bottom which is just connected, some of the design features of this machine are genius. This is just connected by magnets so it's so easy to move out of the way and your pucks just eject into this section once you've made a coffee. It's got sensors on every section so if this is full it tells you, if your pucks are full it tells you. Um, across the side you've got access to the brewing section and that comes out dead easily to clean so the setup of the machine and the layout is brilliant. I'm going to grab a cup and we'll make a coffee so I can talk you through the, uh, the features of the machine. So I've grabbed a cup and like I said at the start of the video I'm definitely not a coffee expert. I don't particularly understand the grinding or anything else but what I do know is I've always preferred to go to Starbucks or Costa and have a coffee from there than to have an espresso and now using this for a few months it's the same feeling. I prefer this far more than I do in espresso capsules now. I feel that a lot of the espresso roasts are really dark and quite bitter and this is just a much smoother cup of coffee. So controls, only one button that's visible and you press that warms the machine up. I just taught you through the different sections but you've got an extra strong section which does you two shots of espresso, steam, controls your wand, water, it will kick out hot water but I've never used it because we've got a kettle a special shot and a larger shot. So this is the same amount of coffee, just more water. So I'm just going to get an espresso brewing and you quite simply push the button and it does everything else. So it will take the beans from the grinder, load them and it's relatively quick. It's sort of noisy. I mean I'm leaving this running and I'm stood behind the camera now with no specialist microphone equipment so you can hear how noisy it is. Your espresso, you get a crema. I couldn't tell you if it's a decent crema, but you get a crema. It tastes nice, so I, I like espresso. Um, today I'm going to make this with milk just to show you how the milk works. So, this machine comes with a jug. Quite important you keep the jug because the depth of the jug is exactly the same length as the depth of the wand, so that helps you to get to the bottom if you're only making a small amount of milk. You do also get with the machine some cleaning apparatus to get into the, the little sections when you give it a clean. Um, so to make the milk, you press the steam button, you have to press it twice, so in this first instance it will warm up, it will eject any water that's already captured within the system. And then once that's done you can press it again to froth your milk. So I don't drink cow's milk, so this is an oat milk. Um, what I found with this is you don't need to buy the specific barista ones. This does a really good job with with a, uh, a normal uh, oat milk. 
Uh, it's relatively quick, it's obviously not as powerful as some of the bigger machines, but it, it, it does the job. It uh, only takes a minute or so to, uh, to warm the milk through. And you reach over and stop that now. And it makes quite a smooth milk. And uh, I'm not going to be able to pour this fancily today because I've only got one hand as I'm filming, but it does the trick and makes quite a nice cup of coffee. Um, I can't complain. I think we were spending 40, 50 pence a cup of coffee. Now we've switched over to this with the beans. We're spending 10, 15 pence per cup, depending on what beans we're buying. Aesthetically, it works well. It's no more maintenance than having an espresso machine or one of the pod machines. You've got the added feature of having the wand so you can play with your milk. Uh, and yeah, I, I couldn't be happier. So I guess to summarise, I'm really pleased with the machine. I've only done this review because of how happy I am with this machine. I am trying to grow this channel. I would really appreciate a like, a subscribe would be fantastic if you could. Um, I really do want to get it off the ground, so that would be great. I'll also drop a link to the coffee machine in the description below. If you are ordering it in the UK, I'd be so grateful if you could order it through the link. Um, as I said, not advertised, just an affiliate link, so I'll get a few pence for making the video. Apart from that guys, have yourself a fantastic day.